weighing 232 pounds, from Knoxville, Tennessee, the heavyweight champion of the world, Big John Payne. Introducing the challenger, weighing 207 pounds, from Los Angeles, California, the number one contender, Mike Weaver. Oh, in the building. On a big ride with Big John Tate tonight. In the light heavyweight championship bout, Eddie Gregory defeated Marvin Johnson to take the title. Within the year, Marvin Johnson losing the WBC title and the WBA title. Following the Tate Weaver fight, we'll have Sugar Ray Leonard and Dave Boy Green from Landover, Maryland. That Tate has had here. John had three fights last face in this fight, and so far here in the first round, he's doing it. There's been some question about the. Two years old, went to Ganesha High School out there. The title opportunities. So quickly, a heart. Under, 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 under. Right hand by Tate. Caught Weaver on the side of the head. Left hook by Weaver. Just missed that shot to the head as he Tate moved underneath it. Now Weaver, I think, getting real pretty well controlled the pace of the fight. From the beginning, the left of the body. That's a good left hand by Mike Weaver. He caught Tate on the side of the head as John came in. Trying to avoid a butt. Tate hooks him to the head and gets him. But Tate's just absolutely smothering Mike Weaver right now. to the body. Oh, lead right by Tate. I don't know, I think he really did a whole lot of damage. It got the crowd pretty excited, but that overhand right right there hurt him. Tate really cutting loose here in the third round with a little more than a minute to go. Left hook to the two. Tate gets him with a right and a left and a left to the body. And where he is, the end of round three. Now, pretty much so far in the fight. With a 25-pound head. Sends Weaver back into the ropes. Not much. Hold on. Right hand got in there again. Another one back. Story of Eddie Gregory's. Again, all by the Mexican referee. Tate a bit wild. He's spending a lot of energy here in this round with flurries at Weaver. All right. Man, uh, Ace Miller, Don Marshall wanted him to stay outside and store himself, but now he's moved back in. And Mike Weaver found him with the left. And could see her, but uh, back in the fourth round had it reopened in the fifth he once more wants oh good right hand by Tate and wobble Mike Weaver something do it again come on Mike just missed Tate gets him the right hand lead again the champion of the white trunks and the challenger goes to the head and the body and scores with both the right and the left that time Hand. We were getting through. Right hand. Almost low blow by Tate. 
Weaver trying to fight his way off the rope. Giving away 25 pounds. John won't let him off. Stuns him with the right hand. That really launched. He had some ability too. Oh, nice. <laughs> quite a ways. You better get a safe oh, pin here. Nice. End of round seven with a Tate flurry. Still good movement by Tate, the bigger. Oh, good right hand by John. That's a quick. Oh, good overhand right that time. There's a left and a right. In the Stokely Athletic Center here at the University of Tennessee. Snaps his head back for the upper cut. Power. Right now, Weaver may be in trouble. In the jaw area. Mike hooks hard. Side of with a crowd. Oh, there. Less than a half minute to go. Tate had him on the rope, set him up. Now he is ripping into him. Tate got him with that right hand lead again. of glove has a very big thumb. This one has a smaller, less obvious. It's just controlling the pace. Doing pretty much what he wants. Just pounding away on Mike Weaver. And he's got the crowd roaring. Weaver hasn't thrown enough punches in the last five rounds to make hardly any difference. All right, Holmes. So far. Number 11 rounds of John Tate's first defense in the... Overhand right on the jaw by Tate. Wicked left hook by Weaver. Tate goes back into the rope. Tate may be hurt. Weaver hits him with the right hand. Weaver's trying to get him. It was a hard left hook that rattled Tate back into the rope. And all of a sudden, Mike Weaver got the big punch he was looking for. Weaver is wild. Can't get the tape. Tape leaning back on the rope. Tape hang in round 12. Right, left. There's a right hand on the jaw of Tate. And he almost went down from the left hook. And suddenly it is Weaver, the pursuer, the man in charge. And Tate's hanging on. Tate has been jarred. Crowd starting to roar. Big John Tate. Weaver continues to pursue him. Mark under the left eye of John Tate. Weaver's got him pinned in the corner. And Weaver comes with an overhand right, and there's the big one right there, that left hook flush on the jaw. Look at it from this angle now. Tate overhand right, not a whole lot on it. Goes to the body, comes back over the top, then the overhand right by Weaver, and then pow. A big He's in a posture of desperation, no question about it. Left and right by Tate. Weaver coming in. Another right by Tate. Left hook. Got 
the champion. John Tate instantly looked into his corner. When Weaver, the spirit's willing, but I'm not sure the body has a whole lot left in it. We'll see. He did rattle Tate some in the late going there in the 14th round, and Big John better get off. More in our local stations that after the decision, the decision at the end of the round will be taking a station break. That right hand by Weaver was a little high on the side of the head. Both men now showing some wear and tear. Both men obviously tired. Weaver pressing the fight here in the 15th round. The man they everybody said they doubted he had the stamina to go 15. Still pressing the issue. As a matter of fact, he's more active here in the 15th than he was in the 5th. has a 25 pound edge though and that makes a difference when you get into a situation like this where everybody's flailing away or where the other man is desperate overhand right high on the side of Tate's head by Weaver I guess Mike Snow's is bleeding a little bit maybe what it is left back Tate goes down in his face Weaver hit him with a left hook and Tate is down at him and I'm not sure that he's regained the well, is he moving yeah he's all right okay but what an incredible finish as Tate had this fight in the bank and he got tagged first in the middle of the round by a left and then back here in the corner bang to the body there's the left hook it hit him right on the button and he went right down on his face and he went out he really didn't move until he was counted out at 2.15 of the 15th round. Well, how do you do? Stunning turnaround. Absolutely startling. Tate now is up sitting. Still stunned from that crushing left hook by Mike Weaver. His corner had yelled at him for at least 10 rounds. Throw some punches, throw some punches. Go out and fight the man. Well, he started in the 12th, and in the 15th, he ended it. There's the right to the body. Here's the left hook that ended it. Pow! Right there. Mike Weaver is the new WBA heavyweight champion.